Imagine two different rhythms playing inside your body, each one shaping how your cells breathe, how your organs rest, and how your mind finds its quiet center. One rhythm pulses for 16 hours, then pauses for eight. The other stretches longer, holding silence for 23 hours before allowing a single moment of nourishment. These are not just eating schedules. They are invitations for your body to remember ancient patterns, to rediscover processes that have been quietly waiting beneath the surface of your daily awareness. Most people never notice the profound biological conversations happening during these extended pauses from food. Your liver shifts its language, your brain rewrites its energy protocols, your cells begin whispering different instructions to each other. The question isn't which rhythm is better, but rather how your body responds when given permission to follow these deeper, older patterns that civilization has taught us to ignore. Ux. Within the hidden laboratories of your body, a quiet intelligence orchestrates thousands of simultaneous processes every moment you're alive. Your liver houses chemical factories that never sleep, constantly transforming molecules, storing energy, and preparing backup fuel systems your conscious mind knows nothing about. Your pancreas releases precise hormonal messages, each drop calculated to maintain balance in ways that would overwhelm the most sophisticated computers. Meanwhile, your brain operates its own mysterious energy network, switching between different fuel sources with an elegance that scientists are still trying to understand. When you extend the time between meals, these internal systems don't simply continue their usual work. They transform. They adapt. They remember capabilities that modern eating patterns rarely allow them to express. Your cells begin conversations they've been postponing. Your organs coordinate in rhythms they haven't accessed in weeks, months, or sometimes years. This isn't about forcing change. It's about creating space for your body to reveal what it has always known how to do. The transformation happens not because you're controlling it, but because you're finally allowing it to unfold naturally. Research suggests that when humans extend their fasting window beyond 12 hours, the body initiates a metabolic shift that touches every major organ system. During the first several hours without food, your digestive system completes its work and begins a different kind of activity. The stomach produces fewer digestive juices, allowing its lining to repair microscopic damage from daily use. Your small intestine shifts into a maintenance mode, focusing on healing rather than processing. But the deeper change begins later. Studies observing human physiology show that around the 16th hour of fasting, insulin levels drop significantly, creating space for fat cells to release stored energy more freely. This isn't a dramatic switch, but rather a gentle transition that your metabolism has been designed to handle for thousands of years. Your liver begins producing ketone bodies, small molecules that can cross the blood-brain barrier and provide an alternative fuel source for neural tissue. These ketones don't just supply energy. They influence neurotransmitter production, potentially affecting mood, clarity, and cognitive function in ways that vary from person to person. When the fasting window extends to 23 hours, this metabolic flexibility deepens. The body maintains this fat-burning state for nearly an entire day, allowing for more complete glycogen depletion and more sustained ketone production. What unfolds next is quieter but far more important. The neurobiological response to extended fasting reveals layers of adaptation that connect your physical state to your mental experience. During longer fasting periods, your brain increases production of norepinephrine, a neurotransmitter that sharpens focus while simultaneously reducing inflammation throughout the nervous system. This chemical shift doesn't create artificial stimulation. Instead, it represents your brain's ancient ability to maintain clarity during times of resource scarcity. Many people report feeling unusually calm during extended fasting periods, as if mental noise has been turned down several notches. This isn't imagination. Research indicates that ketones influence GABA production, a neurotransmitter associated with mental tranquility and emotional regulation. The contrast can feel remarkable. While hunger signals may create surface discomfort, deeper brain regions are experiencing a kind of metabolic meditation. Cortisol patterns also shift during extended fasting, often stabilizing into more natural rhythms that support better sleep and stress resilience. Your body begins producing growth hormone at elevated levels, particularly during the deeper hours of a 23-hour fast. This hormone doesn't just support physical repair. It influences mood stability and cognitive flexibility, creating an internal environment where mental clarity can emerge more easily. 
The next phase reveals something your body rarely shows in our constantly fed world. The transformation timeline unfolds in distinct phases, each marked by subtle but profound internal shifts that most people never recognize. During the first 24 hours, your body begins the transition from glucose dependency to metabolic flexibility. Your liver releases stored glycogen while simultaneously preparing to increase fat oxidation. Insulin levels decline gradually, allowing fat cells to become more responsive to hormonal signals that encourage energy release. Your digestive system enters a rest phase, redirecting energy towards cellular maintenance and repair processes that usually happen in the background. You might feel hunger waves during this initial period, but internally your organs are coordinating a complex dance of adaptation that has been refined over millennia of human evolution. By the 72nd hour of consistent 16-hour fasting periods, or after just three days of 23-hour fasting cycles, deeper biological changes become apparent. Autophagy, the cellular cleaning process, activates more consistently. This isn't visible from the outside, but within every cell, microscopic structures begin identifying and recycling damaged proteins and organelles. Your immune system starts producing fresh white blood cells while simultaneously reducing inflammatory markers throughout your body. The difference between 16-hour and 23-hour fasting becomes more pronounced at this stage. The extended fasting window allows for more sustained periods of cellular repair, while the shorter window provides regular opportunities for nutrient replenishment that can support long-term sustainability. After seven days, the adaptations reach a new level of sophistication. Your body has established new baseline patterns for hormone production, energy utilization, and cellular maintenance. Growth hormone pulses become more predictable and often more pronounced, particularly during the longer 23-hour fasting periods. Your brain has adapted to using ketones more efficiently, often resulting in stable energy levels that feel different from glucose-dependent metabolism. Fat oxidation becomes increasingly efficient, allowing your body to access stored energy with less metabolic stress. The liver develops enhanced capacity for gluconeogenesis, the process of creating glucose from non-carbohydrate sources when needed. Meanwhile, your gut microbiome begins shifting toward bacterial populations that thrive in fasting conditions, potentially improving digestive health and nutrient absorption when you do eat. At the 30-day mark, these adaptations have integrated into your body's operating system. Insulin sensitivity often improves significantly, meaning your body requires less insulin to manage blood glucose when you do consume food. This enhanced sensitivity can persist even during eating windows, creating metabolic benefits that extend beyond the fasting periods themselves. Your nervous system has likely adapted to the new eating patterns, with hunger hormones like ghrelin adjusting to the timing of your meals. Inflammation markers throughout the body often decrease as the regular periods without food allow various tissues to complete repair processes that might otherwise be delayed. The contrast between the two fasting approaches becomes most apparent at this stage with 23 hours. Your fasting typically producing more dramatic changes in body composition and metabolic markers, while 16-hour fasting often proves more sustainable for long-term practice. While cravings feel loud during the adaptation period, your organs are working more quietly than they have in years. The outside feels uncertain as your body adjusts to new rhythms, but internally, order is returning to systems that may have been operating under constant stimulation. Your pancreas experiences extended periods of rest, allowing insulin-producing cells to recover from the demands of frequent meal processing. Your digestive organs synchronize into natural maintenance cycles that modern eating patterns rarely permit. This internal repair moment represents a major turning point in how your body manages energy, stress, and cellular health. The inflammatory response throughout your body often diminishes during these extended fasting periods. This happens because the absence of constant food processing allows your immune system to focus on repair rather than reacting to frequent digestive demands. Your liver processes accumulated toxins more efficiently when it's not simultaneously managing incoming nutrients. Blood vessels experience less oxidative stress, potentially supporting cardiovascular health in ways that become apparent over weeks and months of consistent practice. The nervous system often stabilizes into more predictable patterns, with many people reporting improved sleep quality and emotional regulation. Your body's inherent intelligence reveals itself through these adaptations, demonstrating capabilities that existed long before modern food abundance. 
The metabolic flexibility that emerges during extended fasting represents not a new skill, but rather the rediscovery of ancient biological wisdom. Whether you choose 16-hour or 23-hour fasting windows, your body responds with remarkable adaptability, adjusting hormone production, energy utilization, and repair processes to support your health within whatever parameters you provide. The deeper truth is that your body has always possessed this intelligence. Fasting simply creates space for these natural processes to emerge from beneath the constant stimulation of frequent eating. The hope lies not in forcing specific outcomes, but in trusting your body's ability to find balance when given appropriate conditions. Some people thrive with the gentle rhythm of 16-hour fasting, while others discover profound benefits from the more intensive 23-hour approach. Neither path promises perfection, but both invite you to witness the quiet sophistication of your own biological systems. Your body remembers every choice, even the gentle ones. If learning how your body and brain quietly respond to everyday choices brings you clarity, consider subscribing to Vivalabs for more calm, science-based explanations. Vivalabs, where your body tells its quiet stories. Where your body tells its quiet stories. The distinction between these two fasting rhythms becomes most apparent when you witness how your body manages the delicate balance between breaking down and building up. During 16-hour fasting periods, your system experiences regular opportunities to shift between fed and fasted states, creating a gentle oscillation that many people find sustainable over months and years. Your digestive organs work through their cycles with predictable rhythm, processing nutrients during the 8-hour eating window, then transitioning into maintenance and repair during the 16-hour pause. This creates a biological pattern that feels natural to most people because it aligns with traditional meal timing while still providing extended periods for cellular housekeeping. The 23-hour fasting approach creates a more dramatic metabolic environment. Your body spends nearly an entire day in the fasted state, pushing deeper into fat oxidation and ketone production than the shorter fasting window typically allows. This extended period means your liver must work harder to maintain glucose levels through gluconeogenesis, the process of creating sugar from non-carbohydrate sources. Your fat cells remain in a state of active energy release for most of the day, rather than cycling between storage and release modes. The single eating period becomes intensely important as your body must absorb and process an entire day's worth of nutrients within a compressed time frame. But the deeper change begins later in the spaces between what you can feel and what your organs actually experience. Your cardiovascular system responds differently to these two fasting approaches in ways that reveal the sophisticated intelligence of your circulatory network. During 16-hour fasting periods, blood pressure often stabilizes gradually as insulin levels decrease and sodium retention diminishes. Your heart experiences moderate periods of reduced workload as digestive demands lessen allowing cardiovascular tissue to engage in maintenance processes that constant food processing often interrupts. Blood vessels throughout your body benefit from reduced inflammatory markers, as the regular fasting periods allow for the clearance of oxidative stress compounds that accumulate during feed states. 23-hour fasting creates more pronounced cardiovascular changes. Your heart rate may decrease slightly as your body conserves energy for essential functions. Blood vessel flexibility often improves more dramatically as extended periods without food allow for deeper anti-inflammatory processes. The cardiovascular system adapts to the single daily feeding period by becoming more efficient at nutrient transport and waste removal during that crucial window. Some people notice their heart rate variability improving, a measure of how well the nervous system regulates cardiac function under different conditions. Your kidney function reveals another layer of adaptation that differs between these two approaches. During moderate fasting periods, your kidneys benefit from reduced protein processing loads while maintaining normal filtration rates. The organs can focus on clearing metabolic waste products that accumulate during fed states, while electrolyte balance remains relatively stable. 16-hour fasting typically provides enough regularity to prevent significant stress on renal function while still allowing for improved efficiency in waste processing. Extended 23-hour fasting places different demands on kidney function. Your body must maintain electrolyte balance over much longer periods without incoming minerals from food. The kidneys work harder to conserve essential nutrients while continuing to filter metabolic byproducts. This can lead to more dramatic improvements in kidney efficiency over time as the organs adapt to managing resources more carefully. However,
proper hydration and mineral balance become increasingly important during these extended periods to support optimal kidney function. Your skin becomes a window into these internal adaptations, revealing changes that mirror the deeper metabolic shifts occurring within. During 16-hour fasting periods, many people notice a subtle improvement in skin clarity as inflammatory processes throughout the body begin to calm. The reduced insulin spikes allow cellular repair mechanisms to address oxidative damage that accumulates during constant feeding cycles. Your skin's natural renewal processes align with the body's internal rhythm, creating a gentle harmony between surface appearance and deeper biological function. 23-hour fasting often produces more noticeable changes in skin texture and appearance. The extended autophagy periods allow skin cells to clear damaged proteins and regenerate more efficiently. Growth hormone elevation during longer fasting windows supports collagen production and tissue repair that extends to your skin's structure. The dramatic reduction in inflammatory markers throughout the body often translates to visible improvements in skin conditions that have inflammatory components. Your complexion becomes a reflection of the internal cellular renewal happening throughout your entire system. What unfolds next reveals the intricate relationship between your mind and metabolism in ways that challenge common assumptions about hunger and satisfaction. The psychological adaptation to these different fasting rhythms unveils layers of human behavior that connect ancient survival mechanisms to modern eating patterns. During 16-hour fasting, most people experience manageable hunger waves that follow predictable patterns. Your brain learns to anticipate the eating window, releasing appetite hormones in coordination with your established schedule. The moderate restriction feels sustainable because it aligns with natural circadian rhythms while still providing regular opportunities for social eating and nutritional flexibility. 23-hour fasting creates a more intense psychological experience that often surprises people with its emotional depth. The extended period without food can trigger profound shifts in how you relate to hunger, satisfaction, and the role of food in daily life. Many people report feeling more aware of the difference between true hunger and habitual eating impulses. The single daily meal becomes intensely meaningful, often leading to greater appreciation for food quality, flavor, and the social aspects of eating that frequent meals can obscure. Your sleep architecture responds to these fasting patterns in ways that reveal the deep connection between metabolism and rest. 16-hour fasting often supports natural sleep rhythms by allowing the digestive system to complete its work well before bedtime. The moderate evening restriction prevents late-night insulin spikes that can interfere with growth hormone release during sleep. Your body's natural repair processes during sleep align with the fasting period, creating a harmonious cycle of rest and restoration. Extended fasting can initially disrupt sleep patterns as your body adapts to the new eating schedule. However, after several weeks, many people experience deeper, more restorative sleep. The elevated growth hormone production during 23-hour fasting often peaks during sleep hours, potentially enhancing the quality of rest and recovery. Your nervous system adapts to the extended fasting periods by optimizing repair processes during sleep when energy demands are naturally lower. The final adaptation reveals something unexpected about human resilience and the body's capacity for finding balance within whatever conditions you provide. Neither 16-hour nor 23-hour fasting represents a perfect solution, but rather different invitations to rediscover the flexibility that has always existed within your metabolic system. Your body approaches each pattern with remarkable intelligence, adjusting hormone production, cellular repair, and energy utilization to support your health within the parameters you establish. The choice between these rhythms becomes less about optimization and more about understanding which pattern allows your unique biology to express its natural wisdom most freely. Some people discover that the gentle consistency of 16-hour fasting provides exactly the metabolic flexibility they need while maintaining social and lifestyle balance. Others find that the more intensive 23-hour approach unlocks deeper states of mental clarity and physical renewal that feel worth the additional discipline required. Your body remembers every choice, even the gentle ones. 